Sony's HD A7000 soundbar sounds absolutely incredible just by itself, but if you do want to get an even more theatrical and immersive experience, there are a couple ways that you can do that. If you want to add a little bit more low-end rumble to it, a little bit more punch, you can add one of two different subwoofers, the SASW3 or the larger SASW5. Additionally, if you'd like to add more true discrete surround sound experience, you can add the SARS3S rear speaker kit, which will give you those true rear speakers to really add an immersive experience to all of your content. Now, sometimes it can be a little bit daunting or intimidating to set some of this stuff up, but the good news is that Sony made it really easy, and also I am here to walk you through the setup process. I'm Derek from Sony, let's get it set up. Connecting the subwoofer is very, very straightforward and very simple. Now the good news is it is a wireless subwoofer, which means that there is no cable running from the soundbar to the subwoofer. This means all you have to be aware of is power. Is there an outlet near where you want to place it? Hopefully there is because otherwise you can't plug it in. So find a position in your room where there is an open and available power outlet and go ahead and plug it in. At this point, also make sure that your soundbar is powered on. Now the subwoofer will flash with a green LED on the front indicating that it is attempting to connect to the soundbar and as soon as it holds a solid green, you are locked and loaded. That is it for the setup. Just run the optimization on the bar again just to make sure you have optimal sound for your space and enjoy your entertainment. Setting up the SARS 3S wireless rear speaker kit is very simple, much like the subwoofer, but there are a couple of differences. First thing though, it does require power, and that's going to be for each of the speakers. So when you're thinking about placement of where they need to go, they are rear speakers, so they will go behind you and slightly to the side, and you'll have a rear left and a rear right. On the bottom of each of the speakers, they will indicate whether they're for rear left or rear right. Now to give you an example of kind of how you envision this some people will turn around and say that's my left it's actually a little different if this is the direction of where your TV is going to be everything on this side inc including behind me is going to be the left so this will be the rear left and this side would be the rear right once you have them placed appropriately and plugged in go ahead and power them on and they're going to flash green just like the subwoofer did indicating it's connecting to the soundbar just make sure the soundbar is turned on at this point once you have a solid green LED, they are connected, and again, you are ready to rock and roll. Now, I do recommend that you go into settings and run the sound field optimization again, just to make sure you have the best sound for your space, but it's entirely to you, up to you and your preferences. But now you can go ahead and enjoy a truly immersive surround experience for all of your entertainment. Now, in the extremely unlikely event that either the subwoofer or either of the rear speakers uh, do not connect to the subwoofer automatically, you can do a manual link which will then tell the soundbar and the speaker to connect and get them locked and loaded. I'm going to walk you through that real quick just in case you need it. So before starting, make sure that your HDMI cable is connected to the HDMI ARC port of both the soundbar and the TV. This will enable you to actually see the on-screen menu system of the soundbar. When it is, go ahead and hit the home button on the HTA7000 remote to bring up the home menu. From there, you'll navigate to setup, advanced settings, speaker settings, wireless speaker settings, and start manual linking. Now, before you hit start on the manual linking, there is a link button on the back of the speaker and both the subwoofer as well. So whichever one is giving you an issue at that time, go ahead and press that button and the front LED will start to flash and go ahead and start the manual linking on the soundbar. Now, once all of your speakers and the subwoofer say that they are connected, you are good to go. Go ahead and select finish and then you can run the sound field optimization again. I hope this video helped you get set up with the optional subwoofer and or the optional rear speaker kit for your HTA7000 and you're really enjoying your new full cinematic experience with an amazing system. But if you do have any other additional questions, there's a link in the description below to take you to the Sony one-on-one -on -one consultation program where someone like myself can help answer any questions you have about finding the right Sony solution for you and your needs. I've been Derek from Sony. Thanks for watching.